My dear Edmund, what has gotten into you of late? Our dinners together, which were once a pleasure to me, have become a terrible strain. We appear at times tired, distracted, febrile, and agitated, and sometimes all those things at once. It was a mistake for you to have ever moved out of home. While I approved of your decision to forego marriage in order to spend more time with me, I did not envisage it would be this kind of company. Maybe a wife is what you need after all. Your kindly neighbor has informed me of your comings and goings from your rooms at all hours of the night. Does this mean there is a close friendship your mother doesn't know about? I hope your taste and companionship has improved these past years, but I shall keep an open mind. I should like an explanation of all this from your presently. Your loving and concerned mother. P.S. I hope you're eating and sleeping and taking the laudanum Dr. Finkel gave you. That should improve your nerves somewhat. Dear Mr. Editor, I must say I am alarmed by the paucity of coverage your August journal has dedicated to the recent killings in the region. The perpetrator per of these crimes is clearly a man of great intelligence, power, and no small amount of cunning. He presents a clear and present danger to all readers of your publication, and most probably to the writers of it all as well. I would suggest you begin to treat him and his creations with the reverence that they deserve. God help us all, yours, a concerned citizen. this all nasty surprise or maybe it's both maybe it is a nasty surprise even though you knew I was going to be here which is it you should think about that save yourself thinking about what's about to happen now I'm not going to lie it's not going to be nice and fun I mean it'll be fun for me but it won't be nice for you you ain't much of a fighter huh next time boy. Got him. <laughs> Come on. <gasps> got the serial killer, everybody. We got him.
wasn't too far away from town, huh? Is he preying on me? He must have been preying on this town. Hey there, mister! He thought he was gonna get me, but I smacked his head off the concrete wall. <laughs> you ain't much of a fighter, are ya? Whoever he was killing was a part of maybe some kind of sports team. They all had similar outfits. Oh, found that fella you were looking you? for. Which fella? Put me. him down. Put him down. Well, damn. Fella been... been... Well, it ain't nothing nice. A lot of folk disappeared over the past few years. This sick son of a bitch, well, he ain't right in the head. That's so. Uh, head over to the cellar of that broke down shack on the road to the falls. See for yourself. Okay, come on here. My name is Edmund. Edmund Lowry Jr. And you'll remember that, my friend. I'm sure I shall. Uh, you are a frightening fella. Well, I'll behave, sir. I'll behave as expected. Well, you better. I'll get you a lawyer. Don't you worry about that. You get in that cell, come as you be. Get him! Get him off me! I didn't want to kill him. Get out of here! Uh, <clears throat> my reward? <laughs> your reward? Get the hell out of here! That's your goddamn reward! Go on out! Come on. No reward. That's a shame. Let's go down. I'm pretty sure the per the witness is just uh, one of the prisoners. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. Room's all yours. Head on up. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Mm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Mm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat. The pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. Please, I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. 
Move. We'll, um, uh, need our horses. It's, um, quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. All right, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive. Okay, follow me. Drive. I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this guy. Damn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name is all I knew. Well, the German speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I'm mean, I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm, I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. We're going right here, up the stream. Hey, how about this then? I guarantee you, Pete. Because I'm going to get that money out of you. If I got to squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're onto it now, okay? We're onto it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. Ah, it better be, or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. Up here, we ain't too far now. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you. Not the other way around. That may be, but you'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Drive. Her den. We should leave the horses. Get! All right. Show me. You'll see her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. You hear that? There's a cougar in here. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. And look, look out for her. Yeah, yeah.
mess around with me, boy. She got it. Crap. Damn. Dead, dead. Quiet. Better be rare. I didn't even know there were caves. Get out of here, horse. Your man ain't coming. I don't see how a white cougar pelt's worth much.